Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Windows 98 in a virtual machine. And I'm also going to be showing you how to set up the virtual machine in both VirtualBox and VMware. So yeah, I know that there are already quite a lot of Windows 98 install tutorials, but I've never saw one cover both VMware and VirtualBox. So we're going to be doing that today. So yeah, all of the links for the stuff I used will be in the description. And if you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. So let's begin with the today's video. So once you guys are ready to start with the tutorial, you just want to click on the link that says Windows 98 ISO in the description and it should bring you to this page over here. Now on this page, just make sure that the second edition of Windows 98 is selected and then you can just scroll down and over here you just want to click Windows 98 second edition OEM full. And right over here, you just want to click on the server that is nearer to you. For me personally, this one is faster and you can see that my download has started and it is downloading a zip archive. So once you extract the zip file, there should be a .iso file in it. I'm not going to download this again because I already have it on my computer. And after you got the ISO downloaded, you will also need a Windows 98 boot disk. So just head over to the link that says boot disk in the description and it should bring you to this page over here. Now over here you just want to click on diskette images and select the windows 98 se.img file and just click on it and it should download in no time and if you get this warning just click keep and there it is, there is your boot disk. So now that you guys have both your boot disk and your CD ISO, you just want to open the program you're gonna use. Now this tutorial is for both VMware Workstation 16 and VirtualBox. So I'll just show you how to set up the virtual machine in both of these programs and then I'll continue the installation in one of them. So I'll just open up VirtualBox. And once you have it open, it should look something like this if it is a new install. Now I will leave links both to VMware and VirtualBox in the description. I'm not going to show you how to install the programs because you don't really have to do anything. Just click next. And of course, VMware Workstation 16 is a paid program and VirtualBox is free. So once you are in VirtualBox, just click the new button. And for the name, type in Windows 98 like so and it should automatically select your version by the title and if you want to change the machine folder you can but i'm just going to leave it as it is and click next for the ram i will give it 128 megabytes which should be plenty for windows 98 but you can also give it more or less just make sure that it is under 512 megabytes because windows 98 doesn't recognize more than that so I can click next here and over here you just want to leave it on create a virtual hard disk now and click create. For the format you want to select VHD and click next and I usually do fixed size just because I think that is better. Dynamically allocated basically means that when you save a file to the disk it will just expand it with the size of that file and fixed size means that you will always have 2 gigabytes of physical storage. So I'll just click next and 2 gigabytes should be absolutely fine for Windows 90 they should only take up about 500 megabytes or so maybe even less but just to be sure I will give it 5 gigabytes of storage and click create now this will take a few seconds to create so just be patient at this point and there it is your Windows 98 virtual machine so now you want to click on the settings tab and go into the storage and for the floppy controller you want to click on empty over here and then just click this icon and choose a disk file and this is where you want to put in your boot disk so i will select my windows 98 second edition boot disk and this should be a dot image file as you can see so just click open and for the ide controller you want to select the cd drive and click the same icon and click choose a disk file and this is where you want to select your windows 98 se iso so i'll just click open and select it and i'll just click ok and now you are pretty much ready to start up the machine in VirtualBox. but now i'll just show you how to set it up in vmware so once you have vmware workstation 16 opened it should look something like this so what you want to do is just click create a new virtual machine leave this on typical and click next and for the installer disk you just want to click browse and select the windows 98 iso like that and you want to click next it should automatically choose a name for you and for the location you can place it wherever you want i will just put it in this folder on my d drive 
and click next. I will change this to 5 gigabytes just so it is exactly the same as the other one and I also prefer to store the virtual hard disk as a single size. And over here it also gave it 256 megabytes of RAM so I'll just change that to 128 just so it is the same as the other one. And while you are on this tab you will also want to add a floppy disk drive to your machine so just click the add button and select floppy drive and click finish. And under the floppy drive you want to select use floppy image file and click on browse and just select your Windows 98 second edition boot disk and click open. So now you can close out of this folder and click finish. So now we are pretty much ready to power on both of the machines so I'll just power them on to see if they both work. And on this menu you want to select start computer with CD-ROM support, like so. And I will also do that in VirtualBox. And as you can see, after selecting that option, both of the virtual machines boot up to exactly the same screen. So from now on, the installation process should be exactly the same for both programs. So I'll just exit VirtualBox and continue in VMware. And if you want to release your cursor from the virtual machine, because your inputs are currently going to the virtual machine, as you can see right over here, all you have to do is click Control alt and then your input should be back to your main PC. So now I'll just go back to the virtual machine and the first thing you need to do is type in fdisk like that and click enter. Over here you want to leave it on yes and just click enter once again. You just want to click enter and enter again and also leave this option at yes and click enter again and now the setup process has created the DOS partition on your hard drive so you can click escape to exit fdisk and now you want to do the control alt and release your input and go to the top of VMware here, select this button and click reset. And under this option again select the second one. And after you are back in the virtual machine you want to type in format C like that and click enter and then just press Y and click enter again. And then you need to enter a volume label so I'll just call it Win98 like that and click enter. And now your disk is fully formatted and ready for the setup process. So what you want to do is just type in D to switch to the D drive like that. And after switching to the D drive you just want to type in setup like that. And under this option just click enter. And if it tells you this just click escape. And then you should be entered in the Windows 98 setup like this. So you can just click continue, then you want to accept the license agreement and click next. And now you will need a Windows 98 second edition product key, which I will just give you right now. Okay, so it actually took me quite a while to find a product key that works, but I finally found it and you can see it on screen right now. So once you have typed in that product key, you just want to click next on that screen and it should bring you to this screen. So just click next over here once again. And under the setup options, you can select typical, which is recommended for most computers or you can also do custom and click next and for the name I'll just type in Game Boy Hub like that and company I'll just type in YouTube click next and then if you selected custom it should give you all of these options so I'll just select everything because I want all of the options that exist installed and if you want to you can also go into each and every one and click details and just select absolutely all of them and under multimedia I do also want to get the sample sounds which are very cool so just click OK Okay. And also under accessories it is very important that you select games because who doesn't want all of those classic games. And after you have selected everything you can you can see that the installation will take up about 400 megabytes which is completely fine so just click next. For the computer name I'll just rename it to 98VM like that. The keyboard layout is United States and the language is English so just click next. You can also select that you are from United States. Now it wants the setup to create a startup disk so you can just click next and then you can just click cancel over here because we don't need the startup disk. And then your Windows 98 setup should start. You should see a loading bar here in a minute which will tell you the final process. So I'll just be back when everything is finished. And after some file copying you should see this pop up on screen. So just click OK. And then click restart now. You want to select start computer with CD-ROM support. And if you get to a screen like this that means that you will need to remove the boot disk from the drive. So what you want to do is just press Ctrl Alt go up here and shut down the machine and then you just want to go for edit virtual machine settings 
go to the floppy drive and just click the remove button and then click OK and power the machine back on. And after you do that the installation should resume, so just be patient until it all finishes. And when you get to the time settings you could just leave them as they are and click apply and then just click OK and then the setup should resume and after setup has configured all the settings it will need to restart again so I'll just click restart now. So since we set no password we can just click enter and here we are booted in the beautiful Windows 98. So now that you are booted in the virtual machine we will need to install two drivers. One is the video driver because as you can see right now Windows 98 isn't looking too good. And the second one is the sound driver because right now we have no sound on here. So the first thing we need to do is install VMware tools. So to do that just click Control alt to release the cursor. Go up here and go to VM and click the install VMware tools button and just click install and then click yes. And there you go, the VMware tools process should start. So you just want to follow along with the installation. Just click yes here, click OK and then click finish over here. And now we must restart our computer in order for things to take effect. So I'll just click yes. And there you guys go. You can see that we have normal graphics right now. Everything looks much better after the restart. And you can also see that the mouse cursor is much more smooth now. That is because the mouse driver was included in VMware tools. And now you can also right click anywhere on the desktop and go into the properties and go to settings. And you can see that we are now running true color at 32 bit. And you can also bump up the resolution all the way up to 1920 by 1440. But everything will be very tiny if you do that. So I'll just put the resolution at 1280 by 1024 and click apply. And you can see that that looks pretty good right now. And right now we will need to install the sound driver. So to do that you want to once again release the cursor by clicking control alt. And then you just want to suspend the virtual machine for a minute. And I will upload this sound driver onto Mediafire so you guys can get it as well. But after you downloaded it you just want to go back into VMware. And you might also want to go out of full screen for a minute like that and then you just want to press resume virtual machine and after the virtual machine has been resumed you just want to grab the sound driver and drag it over to the virtual machine. So now you can go back into full screen and we can continue. So now that we have the sound driver on the virtual machine we can just double click on it and on the license agreement just click yes and after it has finished installing the driver just select yes I want to restart my computer now and click finish and your computer should be restarted. And as you guys just heard by that welcome music, the sound is fully working. So now you are pretty much ready to use Windows 98 for whatever you want. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, let me know in the comments if you want to see other videos for other Windows versions. And yeah, please check out my Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video.